All right, for the quest for truth, I have torn apart my truck. Um, this is thermostat housing. This line down here would be what goes to the water pump. This is what goes to the radiator. On the back side, you have the thermostat. It's completely sealed around this edge. This would mount up to uh, the top of your head where the manifold is. Water flows in this direction through that area. <clears throat> we pull this thermostat out. All right, needed two hands. We pull this thermostat out. As one member earlier in the thread mentioned, it is a sleeve type. You can look straight through it. It is not occluded all the time. The way this works is this sleeve right here slides back and forth on this spring when this side reaches a temperature that requires it to open up. The way it works inside this housing is on this edge you have the line to the radiator and straight back you have the line to the water pump. When your truck is cold the water is moving straight through here to the water pump, back around through the oil cooler back into the block. and so on and so on and so on. When the truck warms up, this sleeve slides out in that direction, opening a gap right here, which allows the water to pass into the radiator and occludes the water pump. So, if you put the heater in your water pump, you do in fact have a continuous circuit up above it. The heat will rise up through here. I know a lot of you don't like that word. <clears throat> it will go back through the into the block forcing the cold water down out of the oil cooler and back to the water pump while I still hold that it is a less efficient way to heat the engine rather than actually put in the heater plug block heater freeze plug where it belongs in the block it will work. You're burning more energy. You're spending more money for the heater. And there's the truth.